Hello, my friends. I wanted to make a comment on uh, this new app that people are using for uh, ordering a mobile mechanic. I've been a mobile mechanic. One of the things I've done, I'm also a certified court interpreter. I, I got a bachelor's degree in marketing. Um, I'm a writer, independent publisher. I'm, I've done a lot of things in my life. And I still want to do some other stuff just for because I want to before I die. Um, but my, my trade, as far as skill trade, is uh, automotive repair for over for 20 years. Over 20 years. <clears throat> now, they have this app now that's called Your Mechanic. And here's a problem I see with that. Um, you go on online and or you, you you download the app and you order a mechanic okay now first of all you don't know what's wrong with the car so okay there's gonna be a diagnostic uh, diagnostic fee uh, if you don't know what's wrong with the car but you, you can say oh I just want a water pump installed you don't know if the water pump is what's, what's wrong. You could, could be that somebody told you that or you think that the water pump is bad, but you still need somebody uh, to come and diagnose, diagnose the problem. Now, this company, um, they're, they're basically taking half of the profit away and all they do is manage the app. Now, they don't, they don't pay for the mechanic's uh, vehicle. They don't... Um, and they don't repair the mechanic's vehicle they don't maintain it <clears throat> they don't spend the gasoline they don't pay the insurance that it takes to be out there you know riding a vehicle you can't ride without insurance okay not only that they don't buy the tools which are very expensive um, auto repair tools are very expensive uh, there are a lot of specialized tools they don't buy anything they, they don't invest they invested in in the maintaining of it but that's that comes from the sweat and the back of, of the mechanic now you're saying well this that's just like a shop the shop does the same it's like no because the mechanic doesn't um, <laughs> a mobile mechanic doesn't invest in a, in a shop he buys his tools yes and does the work okay but he, you go to the same place every day you're not you're not spending gasoline running around time now let me give you an example um, they're saying oh they're gonna pay for the tool I mean they're gonna pay for the parts or anything they're, <clears throat> they're gonna make money off of the parts and you're not only going to go out there expend your time and your money and your gasoline and, and wear and tear on your car to go to people's houses uh, to do the diagnosis and then on top of that, you're gonna do uh, an estimate. You're gonna sell the job. And on top of that, you're gonna go and get the parts. Even if they buy the parts, now you're de you're also doing delivery, parts delivery for them on your car, on your, on your expense, on your pocket. <clears throat> and then you're gonna go back to the customer's house and you're gonna repair the vehicle and these people are not going to give you their money. They're going to give it to this to this corporation. I guess I'm doing the video more for the mechanics than for the people. Um, and you're not only they're not only going to take half of the profit away from you after you did all the work. All they did was they did little some advertising for you, which I could understand they could take uh, you know some percentage, but not fucking fifty percent. You know, there's no way. They, that's worth 50%. If, if it, you know, if they want 50%, come do the work for me, and, or be, or assist me, <clears throat> or pay my expenses, or buy me tools. But um, so you're gonna go install. Then when they're gonna pay, they're gonna pay on the app. The app is gonna deposit the money on your account. It'll take a couple of days. Okay, you're gonna get 10 W9 by them. Okay, there it goes. You're gonna you can top of all of those expenses. Now you're gonna get 1099, and you're gonna pay taxes and all that. All right, and then if the car fails, 
if the car fails, uh, the parts fail, never mind that you not, they did not purchase the, the parts, they paid for them, but you did the, you did the repair, you're gonna, you're gonna do the warranty work on it if the parts fail without being able to file a, 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 a labor claim on the company that sold you the parts because you were buying it, you were just being an errand boy for them to pick up the parts, right? But you're still, you're still liable. So not only are you liable for the repair and for whatever happens to that car, you're also liable <clears throat> for the warranty on the parts if they fail. And there's no labor claim that you can charge. You have to do the work twice for half of the price. You know, I mean, it's, it's a bad deal. It's a bad deal for the mechanic. It's really a bad deal for the mechanic. Um, and you know, there are people out there that I guess they want a, a couple of extra dollars on the side because they, you know, they they have a job or or something, and they like to work on cars on the side because they, you know, they're they're you know they have skills. <clears throat> and they say, well, we have a, a, a process of you know, sifting through the good mechanics or not mechanics. I don't, I don't that, that's, a, that's bullshit. How do you know that what they're putting on the application is true? I can put whatever I want on the application, okay, that I have 20 years experience, which I do. I have over 20 years experience, but a lot of people, you know, you can fill out whatever you want. You can put anything down that you want, okay? So it's just a bad deal. When it comes to auto repair, when it comes to auto repair, um, you you need first of all to know the person. Um, it's it's good to have references from the person. And such and such told me you did a good job, you know, because somebody else you worked on somebody else's car and they'll stand up to you. Um, so, but this this business is not like ordering a pizza. You're when you when you call somebody to work on your car. <clears throat> that person has had to go through an amazing amount of training, lots of training. I've, I've, you're constantly having to learn. Remember, every year they have new models, new systems, um, it, new things that come out in cars, new, new circuits, and everything is new every year. And you haven't. I mean, we have to know more stuff than a doctor. Doctors work on the same model every year. And are not making humans with three heads anymore. Okay? Now there might be mutations and we they do keep learning stuff, new stuff about the same model. They're experimenting on the same model. Okay? Imagine if they had to you know, doctors had to know how to work on humans, um, <clears throat> cars, aliens, Martians. You get my drift? You know, it, it's not like that. We have to do that, mechanics. So, um, I, I would not order a mechanic from, from there because, first of all, anybody, any mechanic who who is trying to do his own thing on the side is not is really not going to be crazy uh, about giving somebody on, a, on an app, a company on an app, half of their profit. You can do that with, with a taxi cab or something like that because it takes no skill, all right? Very little skill. Yeah, you, you mean, what, you got a GPS, you know how to drive, and you know, you can put, you know, can open, tell people to close the door. You know, that's about it. Um, but the mechanics is a completely different animal, an absolutely different animal. So I, I'm against, uh, not because it's taking business away, it doesn't, if you're good, you're good, you're gonna get business. But it's a bad deal for mechanics, and I and and and, and as a result, it's a bad deal for people.